In the last days, Christ uses a variety of truths to teach man, to expose the essence of man, and to dissect the words and deeds of man. These words comprise various truths such as man's duty, how man should obey God, how man should be loyal to God, how to live out normal humanity, as well as God's wisdom and disposition, and so on. These words are all directed at the essence of man and his corrupt disposition. In particular, the words that expose how man spurns God relate to how man is an embodiment of Satan and an enemy force against God. We should get going. Mm -hmm. Is this okay here? It's fine, it's fine. Here, lift the banner up. Okay. Pull it straight, a little higher. All right. Over here, tie it up there. Is this okay right here? An atheistic school. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tie it there. No problem. Say no to religion. Right there. Oh my god. Have you guys seen? There's a recruitment fair going on out there. It's bursting with people. Getting any job is a challenge. Graduating is like becoming unemployed. No kidding. It really sucks. Why do you all worry so much? That's exhausting. Drink today's wine today and worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. It's different for the rest of us. We're not mm -hmm. children of officials. Your family lined up a job mm -hmm. for you ages ago, huh? But we all have to work for it ourselves. Yeah. We have to change our fates through knowledge. University is a springboard. Competition is fierce out there. Without higher education, you'll just be kicked around to really get a foothold. You'll have to go to grad school, get a PhD. Uh, excuse me. What use is a degree? Even people with PhDs are still street vendors. Without connections, you've got no chance to show what you can do. You still have to compromise yourself for next to nothing. So I say, if you want to end up in front, you have to go around the back. Isn't that right? Uh, hello? Yes, Director Ha. I'm on my way. I'll be there in a minute. Tch, groveling like a little dog. Any cat that can catch a mouse is a good cat. Our society is full of unwritten rules. Making it through your own hard work is too hard. Uh, pon Pon, the Audi guy is downstairs honking. Yeah, I know. Listen, girls, find someone to take care of you while you're still young. A house, a car, money in the bank, it's all taken care of. Bye-bye. <sighs> I used to think going to college would ensure a good future, that I could build a career off of what I learned, and then that would make my life meaningful. <sighs> Dreams are one thing, but reality is quite another. In our society today, there's no chance for honest people to get ahead. But all those cheaters and hypocrites get rich and famous, they end up getting an easy ride. It's ridiculous. I used to think university was a palace of knowledge, an ivory tower of dreams. I was filled with hope for college life. But now I can see that getting a sugar daddy, being promiscuous, and strategic gift giving are all par for the course. Plenty of people here even do drugs and join gangs. Yeah. How can university be just as dark as the outside world? What I really can't stand is that those people brag about all that stuff. It's like they have no dignity. No kidding. <sighs> what kind of world is this? I'm really feeling more and more lost. Hey, see you, Wen. What do you think of all these trends? Tell me, what are your goals in life? Hmm. I used to really revere knowledge, so I threw myself into getting into college. But once I got here, 
I saw there was a lot of corruption and depravity. Lots of students and professors are corrupt and just do whatever they like. Mm. It seems no one walks the right path or does the right thing. Yeah. I just wasn't able to make sense of it all. It seems reasonable that the more educated and knowledgeable someone is, the better their character and the more moral they mm, should be. Yeah. yeah, there should be a direct relationship. Mm -hmm. So why is it that with intellectuals in power and national education standards improving, the world is just becoming darker and more evil and crime is going up? How could that be? I really couldn't figure it out. I looked and looked for the right path in life. And after a while, I found a book that explains it really clearly. I really enjoyed it and gained a lot from it. Yeah? What does the book say? Yeah? Tell us. Hmm. I remember one thing it says is this. Since mankind's contrivance of the social sciences, the mind of man has become occupied by science and knowledge. Science and knowledge, then, have become tools for the ruling of mankind and there is no longer sufficient room for man to worship God, and no more favorable conditions for the worship of God. The position of God has sunk ever lower in the heart of man. Without God in his heart, man's inner world is dark, hopeless, and empty. There's another part that I copied down. Here. Satan uses fame and gain to control man's thoughts. Until that is all they can think of. For fame and gain, they struggle, suffer hardships, and endure humiliation. They sacrifice everything and make any judgment or decision for fame and gain. In this way, Satan binds people with invisible shackles. And they have neither the strength nor the courage to throw them off. They unknowingly bear these shackles and trudge ever onward with great difficulty. For the sake of this fame and gain, mankind shuns God and betrays Him and becomes increasingly wicked. And so... Every generation is destroyed amidst Satan's fame and gain. This is all really deep. Mm -hmm. It makes a lot of sense. It does. <laughs> See you, Wen. Hmm? Where did you find this? Huh? Do you believe in God now? Shh. Quiet. Oh. I do believe in God, and I'm reading Almighty God's words. Oh. They've helped me understand some things, like the root of society's darkness and evil, and how Satan corrupts mankind. Hmm. I wondered, why does everyone go after fame and fortune? Why is everyone so selfish? Lots of famous people and intellectuals advocate power and prestige, but have no love in their hearts. Yes. They'll do anything in their struggle for power and gain. Hmm. Why isn't there real love between people? That's true. And some students do great in school, but why are they also depraved, hmm. obsessed with romantic love and on the wrong path? Hmm. There are also lots of students going around, spending money, giving gifts, making and exploiting connections for their future so they can get a good job. Some are even willing to sell hmm. their own dignity and integrity. Totally. Almost everyone's being perverse. Yes. It made me wonder, how does learning all this stuff at university benefit us? Can it lead us to live a true life? Why are students obsessed with fame and fortune? Why do our ambitions and desires grow along with our education? Why is the atmosphere on campus deteriorating? Even if we do graduate, what good is it? from a school like this. Hmm. Yeah, you're really giving us food for thought. Yeah. Mm. I felt really lost and bleak about the future, so I decided to believe in God. 
After that, I read God's words every day, and I felt I understood things much better. And I started to see into these things in society. God also gives us a path for how people's corruption can be resolved. I came to feel that only God can save mankind from Satan's corruption, and only the truths expressed by God can cleanse all of people's corruption. That's why my faith in God keeps growing, and I've been able to feel some happiness and joy. So you understood all this by reading God's words? Yeah. And that's the right path to take. Shh. Siwen, you're being paranoid. If the school finds out, it'll be a problem. Oh. Yeah. The CCP doesn't let people believe in God. You'll be arrested and persecuted for it. Hmm. There were a few believers near my family that were arrested for holding gatherings. Hey, Siwen. Hmm. Believing in God is way too dangerous. If the school finds out about it, then you'll be expelled. And you might even go to prison. Aren't you scared? How could I not be scared? It's been on my mind since I started believing. But disasters are growing in scale, and there's no other way to escape them. The Lord Jesus said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Almighty God has expressed all truths in the last days for mankind's salvation. Anyone who accepts the truth and repents to God has hope of being saved and surviving. The Lord Jesus also said, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Since this is the path I've chosen, I'm not afraid of oppression. I've already thought it through. I can understand the truth through my faith. But in school, I'll never gain the truth or life no matter how many books I read. Faith gives me hope of salvation and of getting into the kingdom of heaven. And? Hey, CUN, the secretary wants you in the office right away. Okay. Come in. Secretary, director. Hmm. <coughs> Lee Si Yuan, you've been reported for believing in God and spreading religion in the school. Is this true? Come in. You really got some nerve, huh? The Ministry of Education has strictly forbidden religious belief in school. Were you not aware? Our country invested years of education in you, but you've turned into a Christian. This brings shame on our system. Secretary Liu, I just attend gatherings and read God's words in my faith. I haven't broken campus rules and it doesn't hinder my studies. I haven't broken any national laws. Why would the school stop me? Li Siyuan, Secretary Liu is thinking of your future. You show him some respect. Your faith is against the law. The Central Committee has issued many directives forbidding religion on campus. Any religious faculty or students are to be dealt with harshly, not tolerated. Those who believe in Almighty God will be dealt with especially harshly. <laughs> Li Si Yuan, you're facing a fork in the road. Either you give up your faith, or you're expelled from school. Secretary Liu, I don't understand why the school doesn't allow students to be Christians. All the Western democracies have freedom of religion, and most people believe in God. And they have a lot of Christian fellowships on campus. I don't care what Western schools do. Huh? This is China! Chinese universities are educational bases for Marxism-Leninism, and they're the front line for the CCP to train talents in atheism and materialism. Hm. A Christian coming out of a Communist Party school. Ridiculous. See you in. 
What Secretary Liu is saying is based on national policy. You've got to know what is at stake here. Faith in China is a political issue, and it has a direct impact on your future. You're obviously just too young and naive. God is for uneducated, ignorant people. Knowledgeable people believe in science. No one believes in God. You've gotten into college, so why not work for your future? What future is there in faith? You are an excellent student. Your professors think highly of you, and we wanted to train you to join the party. Your faith will wreck your bright future. Director He, don't we get an education to learn things and understand the truth? Only God has the truth, and only God's words are the truth. So why won't the school let us have faith and pursue the truth? Enough! I don't care about any truth, huh? All I know is that you have to follow the party to have a good life. I'm warning you. If you keep your faith, you will be expelled. Secretary Liu, she's generally really well behaved and gets good grades. I'm sure she'll change her mind before long. After this, I'll do some ideological work on her. Lee Si Yuen, since this is your first offense, you can stay on probation. Write a letter of guarantee that you'll stop believing in God. You won't be allowed to go out without permission, attend gatherings, or read religious books anywhere on campus. You are particularly forbidden from preaching to your classmates. If I find out you still believe, we'll hand you straight over to the police. school leader had a talk with me too, saying I couldn't believe in God, and I had to sign a letter of repentance. Let's go talk somewhere else. Mm. Secretary Liu gave me an earful just now, and said I'd be expelled. He had the savage look on his face, just like some devil. Calling the Communist Party a demon is perfectly accurate. Mm. I was too naive before. I thought that just being a student who believes in God, there's no way the school would hand me over to the police. <sighs> now I can see for myself that all unbelievers just listen to Satan the devil. And it seems like they all serve it. It's true. All I knew before was that Satan opposes God and is evil. But now I see how the CCP opposes God and how brutal it is with believers. It doesn't allow people to survive. The party is Satan the devil. They don't care about all the evil and promiscuity in the school. They just stop people from believing in God. They not only won't let us gather or share the gospel, but they'll have us arrested. That's so evil. Under the flag of education, it's all Satan, misleading and corrupting people. Only Satan would stop people from believing in God and accepting the truth. This world is so evil. Even the schools are ruled by darkness and devils. Totally. So then, what should we do? I must admit, I was really upset just now. But thinking of God's words gave me faith. Yeah, which passage? This one. The utmost faith and love are required from us in this stage of work. We may stumble from the slightest carelessness, for this stage of work is different from all the previous ones. What God is perfecting is mankind's faith, 
which is both invisible and intangible. What God does is convert words to faith, to love, and to life. Christ of the last days brings life and brings the enduring and everlasting way of truth. This truth is the path by which man gains life and it is the only path by which man shall know God and be approved by God. If you do not seek the way of life provided by Christ of the last days, then you shall never gain the approval of Jesus and shall never be qualified to enter the gate of the kingdom of heaven. For you are both a puppet and prisoner of history. God's words are very clear. The only path into God's kingdom is to accept Christ of the last days. All sorts of disasters are happening now. So I think faith in God is what's most important. Understanding the truth and being saved in our faith aren't simple things. Being saved cannot be achieved in a short time. Mm -hmm. The school's standing in our way and threatening to expel us. I think God's good will is behind this. Hmm. Disasters are growing, and we're still studying in school. We won't be able to share the gospel and bear witness until we graduate. So does this count as following God? The Communist Party wants us to sign letters of repentance. That's a trick of Satan. We can't fall for it. Hmm. If we do that, wouldn't we be denying God? Then how could we follow Him? We should choose our own faith. Right. I think the worst case scenario is we'll have to leave school. Hmm. Jayin, let's see how God guides us. Mm. If they insist on expelling us, then we just won't go to college anymore. Going to the University of Truth would be wonderful. <laughs> we'll read God's words every day, be saved, and get into the kingdom. Hey, Lee C. Yuan. The professor said you have to memorize these, the spirit of the 19th Congress and core socialist values. Hey, Lee C. Yuan. The professor said you have to go to the party class so you can change your thinking. Don't forget, or you'll be named and criticized. The school is doing this, to force me to give up my faith. I can't relent. I'll believe in God and follow him to the very end. The work of the last days is to separate all according to their kind and to conclude the management plan of God. For the time is near and the day of God has come. God brings all who enter his kingdom, all who are loyal to him, to the very end, into the age of God himself. Professor, Hmm. Lee Su Yuan, hmm? what are you doing? Doing schoolwork. Oh, this is just my diary. Let me see. But my diary. Oh, that. You still dare to believe in God? Come on, to the office. Professor, do we have to? We do, now. Professor. Let's go.
It's Lee C. Yuen, right? Who converted you? Where do you go to gatherings? Who else believes in God at school? Tell me, hmm? Huh. For years, we've specialized in arresting believers. Only those cases. I never thought a student would dare be a believer. It's crazy. The Communist Party gave you the chance to study. Why don't you believe in it? Instead of God. Huh? Li Si Yuan, cooperate with the police and tell them about your belief so you can get lenient treatment. The Constitution gives us freedom of belief. My faith isn't against any law. Enough out of you. I'm telling you, the Communist Party doesn't allow faith, so your faith is illegal. Get it? We're giving you a chance since you're just a student. Tell us all about your faith in God and sign that guarantee you won't believe. Otherwise, you'll be doing time. Sign it. Go on, sign it. Come on. Sign. Are you signing a what? Hey. <laughs> if you don't sign, that's okay. There's a national policy for believers in Almighty God who don't confess everything. We can just beat them to death. Your family will get dragged in too. Their jobs, their land, their property will all be taken away. You'd better give it some thought. Lee see you in. He's not saying this just to scare you, huh? Your faith is a big problem. You need to be clear on this. This is your very last chance. See you in. Your parents have worked so hard for your education. It hasn't been easy for you to get here. You can't ruin your entire life just for your faith. You have to do well in school and work for your future. Your faith can't save you. Come on. Just tell the police all about your belief and sign the letter of guarantee. Come on, sign it. Listen to your professor. Here it is. Let me give it some thought. Well, there we go. Listen up. You have half a day. Submit that letter of guarantee and tell us everything we want to know. Otherwise, you'll get what's coming to you. I never imagined colleges were so oppressive for Christians. Why won't they let people have faith or accept the truth? As if learning a few things can put people on the right path in life. This school can only corrupt, not save. I don't need this kind of education. Having faith is better. Starting today, I'll be following God. <laughs> 